I've uploaded the background. I click on green screen. Um, but you have to remember that because Google Meet flips the camera, flips the view, if I created this to look the way it is right now, it would actually be flipped and the cougars, the lettering would be backwards. This is pretty new. I think it's only like a week or two old. It is visual effects for Google Meet. It's got the list of effects that you have. And one of these effects is to add a virtual background. Okay. You may have noticed this bar down the left side of my screen here. Okay. That is because my visual effects is on. And so as soon as I enter the meet, this becomes available. I'm not going to show you all of the effects. Uh, let's just start with the blur. Okay, so now my background is blurred and you have the option here of deciding how much, like to what extent you want that feature turned on. Okay, so there's like full background blur. Uh, I can blur my entire screen. So even my face would be blurred. Okay, you can add bubbles going across your screen. I'll let you play with these contrast cube. The one I want to get to, green screen. Okay, so if I want to add a virtual background, I have to upload a background. So before this, uh, snap camera was being used. I still prefer snap camera personally. Um, and if you don't know how to use snap camera, or what that is, um, I'll put a link in the description below and there should be a card showing up at the top of the screen here, linking you to a video I made on, on how to create virtual screens using snap camera in uh, Google meets. Okay. So I still prefer that, but this is another option. Okay. It's got the blur. It's got some other things. So that's kind of cool. But if you want to add a virtual background, and I guess I should mention Snap Camera, it's a program you have to download onto your computer. So if you're working on a Chromebook, uh, it doesn't work. So this will work on a Chromebook. So then this is a, definitely a good alternative if you can't use Snap Camera. Okay. So I need to upload backgrounds though. They don't have pre-made or preset backgrounds. So I need to upload a background. Okay. And you can either create your own, um, which I'm going to upload right now. Uh, one that I created on my own. You can go to pixabay.com and download a photo if you want. Um, you know, free photos, Google Images. Okay, use some copyright free photos or backgrounds. Okay, so I'm going to open up this one. So I've uploaded the background. I click on green screen. Okay, and so it's not perfect, but it is there. Okay, so I now have this virtual background and um, I need to mention here, so the Cougars, okay, this logo from our, our school logo, seems easy enough that you can just, you know, make your own background and throw it in here. Um, but you have to remember that because Google Meet flips the camera, flips the view, if I created this to look the way it is right now, it would actually be flipped and the Cougars, the lettering would be backwards. So when I created this in Paint 3D, I made it so that it, it was reversed just by flipping horizontal. When I upload it to my Google Meet, it shows up in the proper way. Okay, and if you don't have a program that will do that for you, that you can work with, uh, let's say you're working on a Chromebook, maybe it's not as easy to, to take an image or create your own image. Um, you can again, find an image online. And if it has text or whatever, it might have and you want it to flip then there is this website here flipapicture.com okay so you'll just choose a file and decide if you want to flip it vertically or horizontally and when you click there it'll have a nice big image shown for you and that'll do the flipping for you okay then you can download that image that flipped image so that when you bring it back into google meet it's the way that you would want it to look so hopefully you found this video useful and I will see you in the next one.